20 fun facts about grapes. Did you know there are more than 8,000 different types of grapes? Or that they can help fight cancer? Number one. Grapes originally came to the U.S. from Spain. You eat or drink a grape in America, you can thank the Spanish. Well, in particular, Spanish explorers. These conquistadors brought a variety of grapes to North America more than 300 years ago. Number two. Come in many shapes and sizes. Grapes are quite versatile. Did you know there are more than 8,000 types of grapes from about 60 different species? Many of the varietals are European and American. Not all of them are consumed regularly. Number three. Grapes are big business. The grape industry is massive. Worldwide, vineyards cover about 25 million acres of land. This land produces around 72 million tons of grapes each year. Of these grapes, about 71% are used to make wine, like champagne, while 27% are consumed as fresh produce. The remaining 2% are dried out and enjoyed as raisins. Number 4. What happens in Concord? Concord grapes are plump, juicy berries that are named for Concord, Massachusetts. Concord grapes are quite hardy and thrive in colder climates, unlike many other varieties. These grapes' distinct taste and color are perfect for the delicious juice so many kids and adults love. Number 5. Grapevines can get really, really old. The oldest grapevine in the world still producing fruit is said to be in Maribor, Slovenia. This area borders Austria and the Balkans. For more than 400 years, this vine has withstood drought, floods, wars, and more. In America, the oldest vine is in North Carolina. Known simply as Mother Vine, this vine is around 400 years old and still makes, makes delicious fruit. This Skubrinov vine was likely planted by Croatian Native Americans, or perhaps by the lost colony. Number 6. They have many cousins. Grapes are technically berries. This grape fact means they have many cousins, including blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. Grapes are very similar to blueberries with tough skin surrounding a fleshy inside. Number 7. Grapes have their place in religion. Throughout history, Christians have used wine as part of worship. Typically, wine represents the blood of Jesus. Under canon law in the Catholic Church, wine used for mass must be natural and made from grapes of the vine. Some churches that oppose alcohol will sub in grape juice instead of wine for services. Noah grows grapes in Genesis in the Bible. And in Judaism, alcohol is allowed. Sometimes observers will use grape juice for Kiddush on Shabbat and Jewish holidays, however. Number 8. People have been enjoying grapes for thousands of years. For us, this is definitely one of the best facts about grapes. Did you know the first signs of grape cultivation were between 6,000 and 8,000 years ago in the Middle East? That's so. Many plants used for human consumption started in Mesopotamia and the surrounding area. Ancient people discovered that this berry was perfect for making wine. Yeast occurs naturally on grapes, and the fermentation process ensured the drink was safe for consumption. Number 9. Many civilizations took part. While many believe that the first grapes used for wine grew in present-day Georgia, they were far from the only ones partaking in this alcoholic beverage. Every civilization from the ancient Egyptians to the Greeks to the Phoenicians to the Romans shows evidence of wine. Most of these groups grew purple grapes to both eat and make wine. Number 10. Grapes come in many colors. You might think grapes are only green or red, but you would be wrong. While most grapes come in these few colors, you wouldn't be hard-pressed be hard to find them in other shades. Have you ever eaten a black, yellow, or pink grape? If you haven't, you should. These are just a few of the fun colors grapes come in. For the record, if you drink white wine, they were made with green grapes. Number 11. 
throughout history have loved grapes. Grapes have been significant to many cultures in history, including the ancient Greeks and Romans. God of agriculture, Dionysus, loved grapes and wine. He is often portrayed with a string of grape leaves on his head. Number 12. Healthy Facts About Grapes Grapes are a healthy fruit that packs a powerful punch. A single cup of grapes has about a quarter of the vitamins K and C you need daily. Plus, a cup is only 100 calories. Grapes are also a fantastic source of calcium, phosphorus, potassium, and magnesium. You will get a huge dose of healthy antioxidants if you feel like eating grape seeds. Number 13. Grapes aren't for everyone. If your pup gets a hold of grapes or raisins, be sure to call your veterinarian immediately. This fruit is incredibly toxic to dogs and can cause acute renal failure. In many cases, this reaction is deadly, so please don't feed grapes to your dog. Number 14. They're not just for eating. Grape seed oil. The oils extracted from the seed is quite versatile. People throughout the world use this oil for hair, skin, and overall health. When it is consumed or used for cooking, it can decrease inflammation, reduce heart disease and stroke risks, help prevent dementia, reduce chances of cancer, and help with skin problems and premature aging, among many other benefits. However, grapeseed oil is rich in vitamin E, which can nourish your skin, including your hair and scalp. Many use it as a carrier oil for essential oils, as well. You will often see grapeseed oil in a variety of health and beauty products. Number 15. They can fight cancer. Scientific research has shown that certain compounds in grapes can help fight cancer. In particular, resveratrol and many phytocompounds are excellent sources of cancer-fighting agents, specifically breast cancer. This might be the best grape facts of the lot. Number 16. Grape vines are quite unique. Grapes grow on a vine. While there is no one style of grapevine, there are some general traits. Some grape vines can grow to a length of 50 feet. Typically, one vine can produce 40 grape clusters. Grape vines also contain large leaves that are usually green and lobed with toothed edges. Each vine also contains thin, snake-like tendrils. These offshoots help the vine by grabbing things close by, like vine supports, wires, and bars. Number 17. Grapes self-pollinate. Flowers on grapevines are usually small and green. These flowers are arranged in clusters, similar to the actual fruit. Each flower has all the reproductive organs to self-pollinate. Number 18. Grapes are therapeutic. Therapy is a type of naturopathic medicine. This grape therapy relies on the consumption of grapes in both food and wine form. Beyond the fruit, practices of this alternative medicine will also consume parts of the vine and leaves along with the seeds. Number 19. Not all grapes are created equal. When you buy grapes at the store to enjoy with lunch, you might notice their skin is quite thin. While there are seedless varieties, Many have several seeds in them. Table grapes are also large. This is quite different than grapes used for winemaking. The thick skins are essential to get the color and flavor needed for wine production. Wine grapes have larger seeds but are smaller in general than table grapes. Number 20. People eat a lot of grapes. Humans love to consume grapes. In fact, more and more grapes are eaten each year. In 1970, the average person ate just under 3 pounds, 1.32 kilograms, of grapes a year. Today, that number has risen to around 8 pounds, 3.62 kilograms a year.